Dr. Dana here. I'm going to demonstrate how to do an eccentric shoulder abduction exercise. This is a good exercise for somebody who has a pre-existing supraspinatus, which is one of the rotator cuff muscles, supraspinatus tendonitis, which is an inflammation of the tendon, or tendinosis, which is a long-standing, more chronic issue with the tendon as indicative of degenerative changes. So when you're doing an eccentric muscle contraction, you're working the muscle from short to long. So for example, if I was doing a regular bicep curl, it would be from long to short. Whereas the eccentric phase is from shortened to lengthened under load. So when I do my shoulder abduction exercise, I need to start with the supraspinatus muscle shortened. So I'm going to set my shoulder blades back and down and try to maintain a good degree of scapular stability in that back and down position. I'm going to raise, for me, my right shoulder up and I'm going to maintain about 90 degrees maximum angle at the armpit. Now I don't want to be right even with the body line. The shoulder blade is curved to shape to the contour of the ribs. So I'm gonna go forward approximately 30 degrees into what's called the scapular plane or scaption. Now maintaining my shoulder in that position, I'm going to place the weight in my hand. Now as I stretch out my elbow, I'm not going to allow my shoulder to move. From here, I'm going to slowly lower the weight. Six to eight seconds is a good timeline in which to lengthen that muscle progressively out. Now, I'm going to switch hands again. Reset my shoulder blades, get them into that back and down position, raise my elbow up into that scapular plane, or what's often called scaption, when you raise it up to the side. Put the weight in my hand, extend the elbow straight without moving the shoulder, and drop down. Six to eight seconds on the way down. Now try to make that motion nice and smooth. Try not to make it start and stop. Remember that when you set your shoulder blades back and down, they've got to stay there. So as I raise my elbow up, I don't want shoulder hiking to happen. So make sure that that elbow motion up, raising into scaption, does not allow the shoulder blade to move. Put the weight in, out, nice and slow and controlled, on the way down. Now when you're doing this eccentric muscle exercise, this is a very light weight, it's only three pounds. You don't want to go too heavy. Not only will you not be hitting the muscle the way that you will if you go too heavy, but you don't want to be causing too much stress for that um, uh, affected muscle. For more information, if you do want to leave a comment below, it will be addressed. Have a good day.